Okay, uh, this is the barcode guy just kind of discussing some differences between scanners for you here, giving you a barcode scanner overview. Uh, we get a lot of questions about this when we sell some of our software systems, so I thought I'd cover this briefly. Um, and there's two types of, well, there's more than two, but there's two main types of barcode scanners that you see out there uh, that we get involved in, in most cases for customers that want to scan barcodes. Um, what I've got in my hand here is um, a USB connected scanner. Um, it effectively serves as like a keyboard emulation. I'm going to show you how this works quickly here, but basically we're going to uh, go ahead and just plug this into the USB port on the computer. Um, and we're going to see here, uh, okay, Windows is installing the driver. You can see that there. I'll kind of try to see if I can open that up for you. Okay, so what it's doing is um, it's seeing this as a newly connected device um, it's really going to end up uh, putting this in as a key keyboard emulation uh, unit here. So um, while that's installing, let's let's kind of quickly just kind of give you an overview of the other type of scanner. Um, now this type of a unit is um, what's been called for years as like a data collection uh, device or mobile computer. Uh, it's a completely self-sustaining. Um, computer in your hand. It's got a, a display, a, you know, a processor, a keyboard, uh, complete capability uh, to run an application locally. Um, and usually, you know, a developer would have to write the application to fit on that kind of a display. It's got a built-in scanner, so quite a bit built into something that's all in your hand. This this device I'm holding is sort of best of breed in our opinion but uh, not in everyone's opinion but it's you know it's a three thousand dollar plus device that you can slam around and drop and it's very rugged um, so this is a mobile computer and the application that you're going to be scanning into is actually running either on the device or in a browser uh, or as an app but um, you know when you scan something with this scanner the data is going to go into that application that's running on that device so uh, which means that the software that you're going to use with this type of a device has to like be sized or designed to fit on that kind of a screen. Um, so that, this is a mobile computer, much more um, pricey option, you know, for the two types of scanners. But again, makes you completely portable, though, right, for scanning and, and accomplishing things in your warehouse. Um, so the, our driver is installed on the computer now. Uh, let's go ahead and just. Uh, open up Microsoft Word here. Uh, okay. All right, so we got a new document opened up here. Let me just try a quick test on this. All right, so you can see, I'm going to move this over here so you can see it on the screen a little better. Um, but basically, um, as I scan, uh, you'll notice the data goes right into the Word document. I've appended an Enter key in this scanner which is a pretty common function so that after I scan, notice it's automatically advancing down onto another line. That, that's because in a lot of cases, you know, with a field that you're scanning into, you want it to do that. You want it to process the information and maybe pass an enter key. So, uh, so what this is really doing is acting like just like a keyboard, right? Because it's just quickly typing, you know, these characters that are inside that barcode and putting them onto the screen uh, into the application, you know, over the USB port. So right now this computer thinks that it has two USB keyboards attached um, so that, you know, it, this is essentially emulating, you know, just acting like a keyboard for you. So uh, that kind of covers the two main types of um, scanners. You know, there's, of course, there's lots of USB alternatives, uh, anything from you know, fixed mounted units that you can wave the barcode in front of to something like this. There's even a Bluetooth ones that you don't even need the cable uh, and it'll talk to your laptop or any kind of a Bluetooth device on the other end. Um, if you have any questions, uh, don't he hesitate to reach out to the barcode guy. Thanks.